you hold that up to the microphone, if you hold that song up to the microphone, I may have to come and tackle you. <laughs> Don't do it. Do it. None of my coworkers like Firefly. I think we should stop doing You need to quit. I know. <laughs> Casey's a lot more reserved and he has to be more of a sniper. Whereas, you know, Jane can be a bull in a china shop. So, dynamically, Jane is, is the broader, more fun character to play, just as a, as a pure acting exercise. Jane, uh, Casey pays a lot better. <laughs> so, I'm torn. Troublemaker. Security. So you say what? what? The, the product placement, does it ever seem to get in the way of acting, of having to pitch these products, or is it something that's just so, some of it seamlessly and, and some of it's not? How is it for you as an actor? <laughs> it's like Metallica's Black Album, it's a sellout. <laughs> pays the bills, uh, and we embrace it because the model of broadcast television, as everyone knows, has changed. People have so many opportunities just to Devo and fast forward through it. So how how can advertisers justify the expense? Blah, 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 blah. So and you know, it's it's not a bad product. It's not like it's I don't know tampons or something. <laughs> <laughs> Which are not bad products. Don't get me wrong. But it's just, a sandwich is easier to sell with Big Mike and you know me chowing down on the tutoroni than it is to have you know, the, the gals chatting about you know fresh and easy disposables. <laughs> so you, know, you have to have a balance of products that you're placing. It's easier to place a sandwich on screen. Security. This one has to go. Hey, how you doing, man? Good. What's your name? TJ. I actually, I can't, well, I'm the TJ that bet him he wouldn't come up here and hug you. Oh. I, I, I watched him from the back of the line slowly come up. I'm like, he's going to duck out eventually. Oh. Didn't happen. Happy to do it. Does, does he have a heart on the, is he the one? That, no, I'm the one with the heart. You're you the one with the heart? Yeah. And he's the one that actually suggested you doing that. Oh. So. Excellent. Um, what was your best memory of filming Full Metal Jacket? Woo! Best memory. Actually beating Stanley in chess once when he told me, uh, because he would crush me. And, uh, really? Eventually when I did beat him, <laughs> he said, you know, the only reason, because he was, he was probably expert level. Mm -hmm. The chess players out there, that's... Good. I have a little uh, program on here called uh, Shredder. That is, uh, anybody that has an iPhone or likes to play chess, Shredder's good one. Uh, that's rated me like a 1500 and change, like 1530. So I'm like below club level. Not, not competitive. I, I can play the game, but I'm not. Yeah. He was an expert level because he played when he was growing up in uh, Washington Square Park in the Bronx. He's from New York. So he would just crush me. Just you know, if you ever played a good chess player and you're, or a better chess player, they just, they, they don't make a bad move. And so he never did. But finally, he got distracted and I beat him. And his line to me was, well, the only reason you beat me is because I have so little respect for your game that I blundered. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, that's great. I still love <laughs> He never played me again. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Uh, I was actually talking to 
talking to my dad outside and wish him a happy Father's Day. And he just wanted me to say, if I did come up here, that he's a huge fan. And he loves you on the shop and he loves you on the Xbox. So, well, thank you. Send my love back. Awesome. Thank you. I saw that and I went, bro, really great. 
How come I'm not in it? Wait a minute. Nathan, what the hell is going on? Did you hear Adam? We killed you. Oh, has to be a stupid Twitter. No. I think, well, Fox owns it. Fox owns Firefly, yeah, and, and Universal and Serenity, or they have a, uh, a deal between the two studios. But maybe they could do a fire sale. Firefly, Firefly fire sale. And let, and let Nathan own it and do it in his hiatus. Do a movie in his hiatus. Yeah, because, I mean, I think Castle's going to be around for a while. Yeah. So. Thank you. Hello, my name is Rob, um, big Firefly fan. I think Jamestown might be my favorite episode. It's because of the utter look of confusion on your face through the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that deviates from my question. My question is, uh, do you still talk to Jewel and can you introduce me? <laughs> uh, Jewel and I cross paths occasionally online, but she lives up in Vancouver. Um, so we've We've drifted apart, all of us, sadly. But we do see each other occasionally from uh, uh, conventions and uh, from... Has she moved down? See? <laughs> see? Maddie's nicer than she is to me. Okay. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta go through Maddie to get to Jewel. You don't have to go through me. Okay. You go through Maddie. But I can introduce you next time. I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs>